actually have a, a man that I meant to say a few words earlier. Um, this person is a, a volunteer fireman uh, working in Brazil, um, and he's been working in the Amazon there directly to put up the fires that have been placed in the Amazon. So please give a lot of warm love. Hi. I came from Brazil to be here. Especially to be here in this, this special moment for humanity. It's so sad for me that till now Brazilian people are not fighting so strongly like you are. But we have so many different conditions that you have. We don't have such a good police like you got here. If we were in a thing like this, right now, there would be nobody here anymore. There would be a lot of bombs, and shots, and people killed. Our police had killed only this year, only in Rio, more than 1,300 people. 95% of them are blacks. Still in Brazil, we face slavery. I don't know if you know, but Brazil was the country in the world who received the biggest number of slaves in the world. Five million people were taken from Africa and taken to Brazil to work as slaves. Until now, millions of them still live in misery. Still live without electric energy. Still live without food, without water. We are fighting here for the planet. But I always got to remember that environmentalism without social justice is just gardening. Yeah. It's so important for us to do not forget these people. We need to think about the whales, we need to think about the dolphins, we need to think about all the animals who's, who's been extinct in the planet. But we still need to think about the poverty and the misery that still now faces Africa and South America. I am I'm, I'm exhausted to see my country being, my area, not exactly just our country, but South America and Africa being treated like the granary of the world. If you eat soy a lot, you are eating a little bit of the Amazon. Because all the soy that comes to here in Europe comes from Brazil. If you're eating meat that comes from Brazil, you are eating a little bit of Amazon in your plate too. Have you eaten Amazon today? Have you eaten our Brazilian savanna? Do you know we have a big savanna there with the biggest biodiversity in the world? Don't you know that? We have it. And now Cerrado, that is the name of our savanna, is being destroyed all over, just to plant soy and create cattle. Our soy is sold to all over the world, not for Brazilians. And our meat is exported all over the world. Brazil is the biggest producer of soy, the biggest producer of corn, and the biggest producer of meat in the planet. We are just that, producing to help other countries non Latin develop their economies. I'm here to say that now with the new government we have, we are reaching such a strong violence in the streets. In the Amazon, you know what is happening in Amazon now? They're not being burned. What they're doing there is killing people. You know what Chinese people did with the Tibetans? You know what they did? They had a problem in Tibet. And what they did was try to put as many Chinese as they could put, they could put there. Just to make the Tibetans try not to be minority. That's the same thing that Brazilian government is doing now. There are improving facilities for people who want to live in Amazon since they were non-Indians. Till the moment where the Indians gonna be the minority and they will not be able anymore to decide their future. This week in, in Brazil is going to the Congress one law that will permit miners to go inside the, the, the lands of the Indians. There are so many disgraceful things being there and I'm so sad about it that I 
cannot find any help in Brazil anymore. That's why I'm here, to ask for help. People are suffering there. People are dying every day in the streets. This week, one journalist was killed just because he was talking against the president. He was killed with rocks smashing her head, his head. 100 meters from his house, his body for was found it, with a lot of rocks around it, a lot of blood around his. It's so sad to be here to tell that. It's my first time in England, my first time in London. I would like to be here, here looking to the museums, but I haven't time to do that. All my time I'm being here in London is just to be here with you, fighting for these changes we need now. I like to write poems and even not being my my original language I try to do poems in English too so I have two I'm gonna do it for you one of them is called Unite here we are there is no time to wait you know this world took so many days to be created and for me, for you, for everyone right now it was 2010 and you want to do more and you know you can Give your hands to your brothers, help the family, think a little in the others, and the finally, may you sleep well one night. If your conscience is not clear, you are not ready to fight. Can't you see that all we need is to unite? <laughs> Rumors of light coming as a spring of reality. Tons of words trying to change the mentality. My personality is just a fraction of all this picture. Doing my best in the present is the only way to take care of my future. That means sprouting culture, planting trees, growing peace. Love is the only way and that's how it is. The world is just one nation. I'm a small drop in the ocean, generating transformation, multiplying light. Hear my words and pay attention. I hope you all, when you start thinking in Brazil, stop thinking that Brazil are just samba, football, Rio, beaches. There are many millions of humans there suffering. Indians, the blacks especially. And I don't know if you know, but the Portuguese and the English were the most uh, involved in the traffic of slaves in the, in the human history. And when the English government decided to stop slavery around the world, it was not because of humanitarian issues. It was just a commercial thing. They just wanted to the industrial revolution to have workers that were more prepared than the slaves. And what they did with the slaves, we don't need you anymore take care of yourselves like what they do now in many places in the world we still have a slavery now in many countries we have many slaves and in Brazil is the same many people who work for less than they can eat many people that make many of the clothes that make your dressing now they come from many places that doesn't have rights that doesn't have opportunities we need to think, like I used to say, in an eagle-eye vision, to have more coherence in our lives, to see it from a bigger time, to bigger size, a bigger look. I don't know if you know that 95, 95 ships, big ships, that work all over the oceans, importing things, these only 95 ships pollute the sea with the same quantity of gas of 250 million cars. Do you know that? 250 million cars is the same of 95 ships. So, when you buy something on Alibaba, when you talk, go on AliExpress, when you buy something coming from China, you're helping polluting the sea. Sorry to say that, but you need to buy local food. 
You need to buy local products. Stop thinking that just a click on the internet is not fucking the planet. If you're not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. Okay, stop. I hope, I hope everyone could have a vision more open about the things we face in the planet now. Because what globalization gives for us is not just this connection between all the countries through internet, all the possibilities of being connected and at the same time so far away from each other. What it has been done with the globalization is this increasing misery in some places and letting the richer richer and the poor as, as much as poor as they can. Thank you very much. I definitely don't need to ask you to make a noise for that guy because what an incredible gentleman. It's so important that people come and share these important stories with us because it's really nice to have these stories from all over the world. Uh, just to let you know what's happening, we're just trying to get everything back together here. We had to go into uh, protection mode and we're just getting the stage back together. We've got some incredible acts to go on this evening.